Welcome to episode one of the Perp Podcast, affectionately known as the Perpcast. I'm your host, Ray, the social media and PR manager for Perp Games, and this is a new weekly show that we're piloting from today to further show our support to the wider games and virtual reality industry. As you saw at Gamescom, we featured heavily as part of the first VR games showcase, working with incredible teams at Fast Travel Games, Servius, Carbon Studios, Neat Corporation, Resolution Games, and Cortopia Studios. We work with these teams to help give VR a more prominent mainstream placement at one of the biggest gaming trade shows of the year. But our support doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll not only be covering what's happening in the world of PERP, answering your questions directly and having guests on the show, friends and partners, but we'll also be taking a look at the wider world of VR and exploring how this emerging technology continues to grow. Before we get started though, it's very important to note that not everything you hear about during today's show means we're in any way affiliated with these companies or individuals. Much like our role at the VR Game Showcase, we're exploring the wider possibilities, helping to spread the word, offering a new platform for some of the week's breaking stories, and most importantly, facilitating some discussion. Perp Games believes it has an important role to play in leading on that, and we're taking those first steps today. And to cap it off, we have a very cool exclusive Perp-related special announcement to make during today's show, so stay tuned for that. All that said, let's mosey into the metaverse. So this week, we've got quite a lot of Perp-related news to talk about, so this seems like the perfect week to start the Perp cast, right? I'm going to kick it off with Angry Birds Movie 2 VR Under Pressure. That is now available at retail in EU and North American territory from September the 6th. Based on the brand new Angry Birds Movie 2, this is a PlayStation VR exclusive game that can be played together with up to four players. In the game, you will travel under the sea in a gigantic piggy submarine and face down the eagles, a brand new threat. A threat, that is, that brings the birds and the pigs together as frenemies. The Angry Birds Movie 2 VR Under Pressure is a collaboration between Sony Pictures Virtual Reality, Rovio Entertainment, and XR Games, and it takes players deeper into the story of the new hit film. The player in the VR headset will be the captain of the submarine, and up to three other players on DualShock 4s can actually play on the television at the same time. And with each completed level comes new challenges and even more high-pressure situations. This uses PlayStation VR's exclusive social screen platform, and it supports couch cooperative multiplayer. So the Angry Birds Movie 2 VR Under Pressure is available now at all major retailers across North America and Europe, exclusive to PlayStation VR. The game is a Peggy Free and it rated E for everyone by ESRB and will cost £34.99 and $34.99. But what's next for Perp Games following the Angry Birds Movie 2 VR Under Pressure? We announced a few weeks ago that Box VR is punching its way to retail from October the 11th. That date is for EU territories. North American owners will be able to pick up a physical copy of Box VR on October the 25th, just a few weeks later. So Box VR is a boxing-inspired virtual reality worker application that's been designed to keep you fit with high-intensity routines choreographed by professional instructors. It's a game that's been designed to look after those of varying fitness levels and you can actually jab, weave and uppercut in time to the music. There are 45 choreographed routines of varying lengths and intensities or you can even create your own workout. That means you can create and set the length of workouts and even set a custom playlist from the 110 included music tracks. The aim of Box VR is to try and beat your score and of course you can take those scores online and compete with other people around the world but it also supports multiplayer enabling you to compete with up to five other people in real time to to tackle the same workout together. Box VR has been awarded the best VR fitness game by VR Fitness Insider and critics and users alike have loved it. We've seen some fantastic stories of people sharing their weight loss stories using Box VR and the site even now has an opportunity where you can share your stories online and it'll be projected out to those who go and view the website. Box VR will launch on PlayStation VR at retail on October the 11th in EU territories and October the 25th in North American territories. And if you're looking to get a bit more physical with your activities on PlayStation VR, then this seems perfect for you. 
the final Poop Games related story we got to share with you today is an announcement we made last week about Crazy Machines VR. That's right, we're bringing Crazy Machines VR to retail on October the 18th in EU territories. This is an award winning puzzle game franchise that's coming to physical PlayStation market for the very first time. The game is split into five different chapters and there are 40 different levels exploring numerous worlds and exciting new game mechanics. This is quite a different setting for the award winning Crazy Machines franchise and it's full of challenges, trophies and unique settings. You can call upon the aid of a grumpy old robot to also help you out if you get a bit stuck in any of the puzzles, but you will also play as the professor for the very first time. Crazy Machines VR is designed to try and make you experiment with all different kinds of combinations to solve the puzzles ahead of you and it immerses you in an altogether brand new way using the power of virtual reality. It's full of fascinating and cool little discoveries. It's made by a team who are incredibly experienced at making puzzle adventures. They've got over a decade's experience with this franchise and been making some fantastic games for many, many years which people know and love. And it's such an honor to bring Crazy Machines VR to retail to PlayStation VR for the very first time and that will be coming out on October the 18th in EU territories. We'll have more information to share a bit closer to launch. But what about some of the more wider news that's been going on this week in the world of VR? One of the coolest stories that we saw this week, there's a suggestion that Nintendo have filed a patent for a new Nintendo Switch VR headset. Now we do see a lot of patents pop up all the time and they don't necessarily come to anything. But this is a very interesting story considering that Nintendo have already had one shot with VR on Labo. And it does tend to suggest that Nintendo see a future with VR on Switch. Our friends Upload VR took a deeper look into this and they suggested it seems like it's a simplified version of the base Labo VR headset released earlier this year. The patent shows a stripped back headset with a pair of lenses and a slim case that seems to fit around the Switch. Why has this become so interesting? Because not only are Nintendo releasing games with VR support including Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and even Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, other developers have now started to release Switch VR games, as Upload VR say includes last week's launch of Spice and Wolf VR. They speculate that Nintendo might be planning to launch a cheaper pre-made VR headset to allow VR titles to reach even more customers. This all sounds very interesting and it'd be great to see Nintendo play more of an active role in the virtual reality sphere. So we'll be monitoring this story very, very closely. If we hear any more or see any more, we'll be sure to report back in a future podcast. Another big story is that Oculus Quest content library has now topped a hundred games and apps. It's only just been three months since the launch of the Oculus Quest and already there is an extensive library of products on their marketplace. That is really, really impressive. It took previous headsets a lot longer to reach that target, but with the Quest having access to so many great games and apps and everyone really wanting to develop for the Quest, it's little wonder that it has taken off so quickly. And at the time of the article that Road to VR put together that we pulled this information from, they picked out the 10 best rated paid Oculus Quest apps and their prices and guess what was number one moss it had a 4.855 user reviews the highest on any other game and that top 10 includes games like super hot vr keep talking nobody explodes job simulator and red matter it's fantastic to see moss doing so well on oculus quest certainly a fantastic playstation vr game and it's exciting to see it branch out into other formats what's even more excited about oculus quest is the success that developers are also seeing for example the developers behind red matter say they surpassed Red Matter's all-time sales on Rift in just a few days on Oculus Quest. And the super hot developer said sales were 300% higher on Quest, calling the all-in-one VR system a watershed moment for the industry, and the sales numbers suggest that players believe it too. Other games that have seen fantastic success on Quest include Job Simulator, Beat Saber, Space Pirate Trainer, Sculptor VR, and many more. And it's really encouraging to see the support that developers are willing to put behind it, but also the word that's coming back from them and the way that people are adopting products on Oculus Quest and are more willing to spend and want to play their games there. Congratulations to Oculus and congratulations to all those fantastic developers for their continued success. We're really, really happy to see the growth. We'll also be looking at some of the releases of the week. This week, though, has been dominated by Servius's Battle Wake. It's a rip-roaring high seas combat game exclusive to virtual reality. As a superpowered pirate lord, you will fight for ultimate dominion and captain a massive battle-ready ship, navigate lush elemental seascapes and embark on a larger-than-life nautical war for the ages full of magic, mystery and mayhem. And it's been reviewing really, really well. So congratulations to our friends at Servius who we worked with at the VR Game Showcase. We're so happy to see the game is now available for everyone to try and play and we're excited to see what the future holds for Battlewake. 
Okay, we've kept you waiting long enough. We've been teasing and promising a special announcement during today's show, and we're going to close it all today with that. Pip Games are absolutely delighted to share that they'll once again be at EGX, the Eurogamer Expo in the XL Center in London between the 17th and the 20th of October 2019. A huge thank you to our friends and partners at Exertus who we are once again working with this year. And the big news is that we'll be exhibiting the Angry Birds Movie 2 VR under pressure. We've all worked incredibly hard to create a very special booth at this year's show, tailored and themed around one of this year's biggest game and film releases. So if you're coming to EGX and you stop by and visit us, not only will you be able to check out the game with friends and frenemies alike, but we'll also have some extra special goodies to share just for coming by. So make sure to take the time to come and see us. You won't regret it, I promise. And as if that's not enough, we'll have even more cool news to share about EGX in the coming weeks as we get closer to the show. So make sure to stay tuned for more information. And that's going to do it for today's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the very first edition of the Perp Games podcast or Perpcast, whichever you prefer to call it. Next week, we'll be throwing the floor out to you and answering some of your burning questions. It can be anything you like. So leave a comment below or send us a message on your preferred social platform and we'll do our best to answer as many as we can. What do you think we did right in today's show? What did we do wrong? What would you like to see in future Pipcasts? Sound out below in the comment section as we're looking to make this a show that's informative and interesting to you as possible. You can find Perp Games on Facebook, Twitter's at Perp Games, subscribe on YouTube using the link in the description below. You can also find us on Discord, Instagram, LinkedIn, and get all the latest news on our products on PerpGames.com. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week.